Hi everyone, in today's video, I am going to show you a new, fast and easy way to make gnome ornaments for Christmas. I was able to make the ornaments that you see on the screen in about two hours. Each gnome takes about 10 minutes to make. So let's go ahead and get started with these super fast and easy gnome Christmas ornaments. Here are the supplies that you're going to need to make the gnome ornaments. We're gonna need some polyfill to stuff the hat. We're gonna need a piece of felt that's six inches by six inches for the hat as well. We're gonna trace a circle into that felt that's six inches in diameter. So I'm just using a mixing bowl that I have from the kitchen. I'll show you how we make the, the hat in a moment. Um, we're also gonna need some twine. This is about a 14 inch piece of twine to make the ornament hook. I have a piece of ribbon for the embellishment. I also have a wooden bead that is 12 millimeters. Any wooden bead that's 12 to 14 millimeters will work. That works out to about a half an inch or three quarters of an inch U.S. size. So just make sure that it's at least a half an inch or at least 12 millimeters. I also have a couple of pieces of felt that I cut for some leaves. And then I have some little pom-poms for to make mistletoe berries. And then I have some bulky yarn to make the gnome's beard. And then I have a darning needle that we're gonna to use to attach the ornament hook, a white pencil just to trace the circle onto the felt, and that is about it. So let's go ahead and get started by making our hat. So I'm gonna just place my bowl on top of my felt, and then I'm just going to trace the perimeter of the bowl with my pencil. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut out the circle. and. We are going to be able to get two gnome hats from one of these felt circles. And I will show you how we do that in a second. I'm just gonna finish cutting my circle here. And I'm just gonna pick up my felt circle and I'm going to fold it in half, making sure that the lines are on the inside of the fold so that they don't show through on the outside of the hat. And then I'm just going to hold that and then just run my scissors up along the crease there. And that's the easiest way for me to get like equal sides of the circle so I can make two hats. Then I'm going to take my circle and I'm gonna fold it so that um, the rounded edge meets. So I'm just going to fold it at the halfway point. So it looks like a triangle here. And then I'm just gonna hold that and apply a strip of glue right down the edge of that fold. And then I'm just gonna fold the rest of the circle right over the hat. And I'm being sure to leave a little bit of an opening at the top of the hat because we do need to attach our ornament hook in a second. Although if you close up the hole, you can just poke through it with a, a pointy tool and that'll be fine. I'm gonna flip over the hat and then just apply some glue on the inside of the rest of the fold there. And I'm just gonna fold the flap over and it's just gonna look just like that. And now we have our little gnome hat. So adorable and so simple to make, very, very fast. And now I'm going to take my twine. I have about 14 inches here. I'm gonna fold it in half and just tie a knot at the end. And I'm gonna probably double and triple knot it. And I'm doing this so that it doesn't come through the top of the hat when I attach the ornament hook. I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'm going to take a little bit of the polyfill. This is about the size of a cotton ball. You could also use a cotton ball here as well if you don't have polyfill stuffing. And I'm just gonna stuff the top of the hat. And then I'm going to take my darning needle and I'm just gonna run the loop of the ornament loop right there, right through my darning needle and then I'm just gonna run it up through the center of the hat coming out through that opening there. And by adding the polyfill and then knotting the twine, that's gonna give us a nice anchor for our ornament hook so it doesn't come out. And just to reinforce it, I'm gonna add a drip of glue right at the tip. So if you like, I mean, you can also make these hats without adding the polyfill filling or a cotton ball. The firm is the felt is firm enough to hold its shape, but I just think it makes it a little bit more sturdy if you do add the stuffing to it. Now we're gonna make the beard. So to make the beard, we're gonna need about 37 inch 
pieces of bulky yarn. So I'm just going to wrap my yarn around this seven inch notebook that I have about 12 or 13 times. And then I'm going to just cut that bundle in half. And then that's going to give me the 25 or 26 um, strands of yarn that I need to make the beard. Now I'm going to cut about another 12 inch piece of yarn. And I'm going to just um, tie my little bundle of yarn in half. I'm just going to tie it really, really tightly, and then I'm going to double knot it and then maybe even flip it over and make a knot on the other side as well, just to make sure that all of those loose strands are nice and securely attached in the bundle so that they don't fall out later on. Now I'm going to pick up my little yarn bundle and I'm just going to hold it like a mop in my hand just like this and I'm gonna apply some hot glue just around the top of the little mop that I just made and then I'm going to attach the hat right on top of that and then I'm just gonna press the yarn into the hat and then I'm going to go ahead and secure the edges. So I'm gonna secure the back and the sides but I'm going to leave the front open for now because we still need to attach the nose and that's the, the last thing that we'll do. So I'm just attaching the beard and the hair to the edges of the hat and just pressing the yarn against the felt just to get a nice secure hold. Now I'm gonna take my bead and I'm gonna add a dollop of glue and then just press that up under the hat so that our little nose looks like it's peeking out of the rim of the hat or the brim of the hat. And I just love that. We'll give our little beard a trim. So I'm just taking my scissors and trimming. And if you did use a ball for your tracing, you could just trim the beard right over the ball. And then you don't have to worry about having scraps of yarn all over your work place. I have these little felt leaves that I just cut out of some scrap yarn that I had. You don't need a template for this. Just make some raggedy oval shapes that are pointy on the edges and that's going to give the appearance of like little holly leaves or mistletoe leaves. And then I'm going to add a dollop of glue in the center of the berries and then just in the center of the leaves. And I'm just going to add three little berries right into that little pile of glue. And now I think that looks adorable. I think it looks like a little um, sprig of mistletoe or maybe white holly berries. I just think that's so sweet. And we're gonna decorate the hat a little bit. So I'm just gonna tie a little bow out of this black pallad ribbon that I have. The ribbon's probably about a quarter of an inch wide. And I'm just going to make a diagonal cut along the ends of the ribbon add a dollop of glue to the top of the gnome's hat and then just attach the ribbon right there. And I just think that gives the ornament a nice finished decorated look. So how cute is our little gnome? This gnome took me 10 minutes to make. These gnomes make great gifts for the holidays. They also are great present toppers. So along with a gift tag, you could add one of these little gnomes instead of a bow to a package just to give a little extra special touch to a package. These are also great teacher or schoolmate gifts or office gifts. I think it would also be adorable to decorate a mini tree completely in different gnomes. Here are all the different styles that I made over the two hours that I had my little gnome making spree this morning. So I just went deep into my embellishments container and just pulled out a whole bunch of different embellishments, buttons, little wooden charms, some pretty resin stars and hearts and I just kind of went wild and decorated each one a little bit differently and I encourage you to do the same. This is a wonderful project to do on a family night or if you have grandchildren coming over for the weekend. It's a great afternoon project. So have a great day everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to make lots of little gnomes this season and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks a lot and I will see you again in the next video.